Hey guys, it's Tommy from Clean Hamptons, and today I'm going to show you how to properly razor a window. And uh, first, what I usually do, I take a rag and I make it very damp, very wet, and I go around the entire window. And it's very important, you wanna get every single part of the window. You don't wanna miss any spots. So what I usually do is go around the edges first. And you could also, by the way, you could have a, uh, a sprayer too, if you'd like to carry around on your holster. You don't wanna carry a wet rag around with you, but it's really your choice. Both work very well. All right, so the window is all wet now. So what we do, take out our razor. And usually how I do it, I look at the length and width of the window. If it's wider, I'll go this way with the razor. Or if it's a longer window, I go up with it, just because it's gonna save you some time, obviously. Now, after each streak, you want to actually wipe it off either on a rag, your pants, whatever you prefer. Just because obviously the window's dirty and things get stuck on it. And right now we're in Florida, so it's very hot out. So by the time I get to the top of the window, I'll probably have to get it wet again because it's really useless if it's not wet because you're probably going to scratch the window. But right now we're pretty good. I'll actually probably wet it down this one. Just to be safer. Trying to be safe and sorry, obviously. And I tell all the window cleaners that I work with not to be afraid to use the razor because that's why window cleaning resource where we get all our supplies, that's why they sell the razors because that's what they're made for. They're made to get the first level of grime, dirt, bugs, pollen off the windows. Works very well with paint chips too, obviously. Now, after you're done razoring, you can obviously look at the window, see if you missed any spots, go to that specific area. You could even use a uh, dry wool if you'd like to get any paint chips that you missed, anything like that off the window. So you say you got a little dryer. Now, we're finished razoring the window. What, what's gonna happen now, it's gonna be easier to glide your squeegee on the window since the dirt, that first layer of dirt is off the window, which is awesome because it makes our job easier and quicker. Now, obviously, this is a razor video, but the way to go about a window like this, you could either do the S, but a lot of people don't know how to do the S with the uh, squeegee, so. I'll just show you guys the basic way that most people use. Just so it doesn't streak, I'm gonna get the first part right along the edge. I'm gonna take that off. And simply see down here you could tell when the water is drying up because you'll see like the, the soap drying up as well so you're just gonna put that last part with the squeegee After that, really, I have a separate rag. We get like the big, deep soap suds that are on this part of the sill. 
Then I have another one to do the detailing around the window. And after that, that's basically it. Thank you guys, and uh, until next time, thank you.